I guess, you know, we're supposed to present Jacob the Blubber Clown today. What would be a usual situation today? Yeah. Anyway, today we're going to relate the story of St. Patrick today. St. Patrick, the Patriots of Ireland and all that. What happens is what it says here. Anyway, this is an accurate story. I'm going to tell exactly what it is as, as I heard it. So, submitted for the approval of Harris Public Shows. This is the story of St. Patrick. Do you know that St. Patrick was in the patron of Ireland? He was born in Ireland. He was really born in England. And basically lived a happy life in England and all that. He was all happy and all that. I am very happy that one day he was trapped by pirates and all that and forced into slavery. For years he begged for his freedom and all that. Begged for his freedom. But the pirates gave him his freedom. Um, then some set free Ireland, England. Then set free Ireland. No, Ireland, it was a terrible place back then. Life was rough. There were snakes roaming the streets, straight snakes roaming snakes roaming on the hillside, snakes roaming the people's cooking and all that. Uh, people, what was this, people cooking? And the Druids were trying to keep control of the people and all that. They were trying to get, the Druids were trying to get people to live their, their way of life. If we see Patrick didn't want to do, he was just about ready to give up. That's the words of a single book up here, the Bible. Well, St. Patrick read that Bible every day, practiced Bible verses, and one day he became a bishop. Uh, and when the saints were all roaming muck in Ireland and all that, and when St. Patrick didn't even flinch, he knew what to do. So on top of the hillside and helped with the stick high. All right, this gold light appeared out of the a light. All, right, all the saints surprised that he actually fled and swam out to sea. As for the Druids, they also fled. They were so surprised the Druids also fled. Today we are St. Patrick who's born Christianity to Ireland. The end. That's our story of our story of the story of St. Patrick. And don't worry, this is only half time, so we're gonna get to part two of our show. So so make sure you get your popcorn ready so we're gonna get to part two.